Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Yup. You finish dressing and ascend the stairs to make a grand entrance. You know, dancing is a skill, which we have nothing in. Is it? Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> all around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Presence failed. Elegance failed. Composure failed. Decoration, success. You mask your fear behind the armor of beauty. Whether or not you are truly ready to be queen, you certainly look the part. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offer you his arm. The first dance is for us. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> he guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kaigal alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whoever you want, and you will not be denied. Someone about your age... Who oh, test intrigue court plus court manners failed. Someone about your age, someone younger than you, someone older than you, someone already married, someone scandalous. Someone, scandalous. Uh, someone about your age. You approach Lindley, the second son of the Duke of Kaigal. He's about two years older than you, and he was always nice to you at school. He bows to you with great courtesy, and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. Your father's not a real dan- but your, your, your father's actually an automated dancing instruction dummy. Is the thing. <laughs> you, you knew him. Knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Da failed. Unfortunately, you lose tra track of which steps you're supposed to do when and trip over your own feet. Oops. Between the dances, there's time for guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny b bites of exquisite food. Court manners plus flattery. Failed. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. Oh no, this guy. Banyan, oh, no. Duke of Marie, Earl of Ser Serenitatis. If I might have your attention. I believe, we should offer, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwinnell, for instance. The young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Leela and a fierce sportswoman. She has a few years ahead of you at school, an absolute terror of the ball fields. <coughs> no Bryony. She, ha she, had, she said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Remember that? Yeah. Her parents are here dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching her, his Duchess pos possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? That is, remember, I'm wondering, we haven't heard from her since the snake attack, remember? Maybe she did die in her. Yeah. In her. Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. Sense magic failed. Oh, no. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> what does that mean? Who knows? We're, we're gonna fucking die, Nick. This must be why we need to play multiple times. Let's see if we can just, by the sheer power of our anger, get into the treasury now. <laughs> no. No. But they made us more angry. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We could just hulk out. Yeah, see what outfits we unlocked. Oh, uniform. Uniform. Boosts military. <laughs> cool, we're basically Napoleon now. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if we need military boost, though. Check our skills. Let me go back to intrigue for the moment. We are angry as hell. I was, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. What is that from? What's that? I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. What, network, I think. Yeah, network. Oh, yeah. our military bonus is now 2.26. Nice. And we've we can go past 50 now, because cause we've got everything past 25. Just stack strategy, I guess. Strategy. We may not be good in court, but we know, st we know war better than anybody else. It's going to leave a mountain of corpses strewn across the continent by the time the game's over. You study the power of ranged weapons, from arrows to thrown fire and sand. 
and how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's response. We study the use of cavalry in battle, as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. Hmm. You learn about the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them. And then those people and animals also need to be fed and equipped. You learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands. And friendly civilians will not stay friendly if robbed. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's late, too late to avoid him and his... Ellipses. Companion. Uh-oh. Siren. Countess of Miranda and Callisto. Uh-oh. You are too kind, Joslyn. Countess Siren, Not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to have been your friend. And yet, not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles. No husband. And your father's arm in her grasp. Emphasis in original, by the way. That's in it. That part was in italics. <laughs> How dare she make a move on your father? Composure. Failed. Shame her with silent scorn. Insult her with false flattery. Trip her as she passes. <laughs> Considering I'm, a, I'm already a, we've a, I'm already a fountain of rage. Trip her. <laughs> Wait until the countess gets closer. Then hook your foot around to make her stumble. Unfortunately, your feet get tangled. Flexibility failed. Your feet get tangled up and end up tripping yourself, falling to the ground with a thud. Elodie, are you alright? Uh... Oh dear, she does need a bit of looking after, doesn't she? Not by you! Angry, plus one. My cat suit doesn't make me more flexible. <laughs> Shut up! I should go now. I hope to see more of you later. When she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. I'm eyebrow glad that last failed. part wasn't in italics. Was that... I said, I'm glad that last part wasn't in italics. Don't give me that look, young lady. more of you later. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman. Nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. Many dark looks were aimed your way at the gala. Way to be a shitlord. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Intrigue. Success. Isn't that what I have agents for? <laughs> yes. But you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Noble plots? Commoner uprisings? Foreign threats? Assassins? I think noble plots at the moment. <clears throat> I need to know what the other nobles are up to, and whether anyone is plotting behind my back. As you wish. You're not the spy master. Ooh! Oh, Juliana's back! Oh. You have not yet reached the crystal. Are you making progress, or is it time for another plan? That would probably be the drastic action she mentioned earlier. Drastic action! Drastic action! <laughs> I suppose I'll have to listen to another plan. Leave it to me. Fine. Plus one yielding. That night, an explosion... I was about to joke this about this, but that <laughs> night... I was going to be like, did she murder them? <laughs> that night, an explosion rocks the castle. A section of stone near the royal treasury collapses, crushing the guards on duty. Oh, no. Nothing is stolen. At least, nothing that is acknowledged publicly. Depre plus one, depressed. But when you look at your father's face, you can see it in his eyes. The crystal is gone, and he knows that you are to blame. He will never trust you the same way again. Oh, no. We're, we're angry and we're starting to get more willful. And we're depressed. Just a little bit, though. Just a little. <laughs> Our military bonus is now 2.71. Our, our fury at uh, just mm. everything that lives and breathes. Pretty standard one I th bonus for weapons. I think this might actually be able to put us to 100 strategy. Yeah, we probably could. I think. What do you think? Yeah, I need to do. I need to do it.
do a little math. No one told me there would be math. Okay, no, not quite. No, not quite. Um, might as well take advantage of this colossal military bonus we have. We're going to get naval strategy and logistics. Sixty. Oh, wow, we got three notches. You study, you study how to determine when to jettison or destroy excess goods for speed, and how to avoid overreaching. You learn about how to calculate enemy war preparations based on the movement of goods within their lands. Armies do not spring up full-formed overnight. You study the benefits of looting as a troop motivator versus the negative effect on civilian populations. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, three notches this. You learn about the requirements for all civilized sailors to rescue the crew of a sinking ship, even an enemy. You learn about the challenges to naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather, as well as the dangers of sailing too close to an unknown coastline. You learn about the use of ships in transporting gr ground soldiers between locations. We are a killing machine. <laughs> There's the king. It is time of year to decide any necess necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there's always some room for discretion. Counting failed. I really don't understand all of these numbers. Raise taxes, keep them the same, lower taxes. Eh, keep them the same. If we don't if we don't really understand anything, we probably shouldn't fiddle with it. Yeah. I think they're fine as they are. As you wish. Wait, we can visit the treasury again? Oh, visit Julia. Visit the Duchess. Let's visit the Duchess. She probably has our crystal now. Mm. Do you have it? You do have it, don't you? The crystal? Of course. Everything is ready for you. Right. Did you really have to kill the guards? If you regret their sacrifice, then do not let it go to waste. It's too late to turn back now. Pressured. I have to do the best I can for my people. What do I do? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands. Press it against your chest, over your heart, and say, Illuminate! And then you become Sailor Moon. Okay, here we go. Illuminate! It's morphin' time! I was joking, but... What the hell just happened? You feel dizzy, and both lar larger and lighter than you were before. The I think you're the one named Sailor Moon. <laughs> The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Wow. The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to your lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. Depre minus one depressed. I should feel happy, I guess. I'm illumined now. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. I wonder if we, if we can actually try start learning Lumen stuff now. Holy shit! Mili military 3.22. <laughs> Jesus. I do strategy, naval strategy. You should be able to finish off strategy, I think. That is quite the... We are Jesus becoming quite the killing it? machine, Nick. <laughs> 